What's up YouTube? Today we are going to be going over the beginner lockpick set from Subtle Digs. Uh, it's made by Vistal for Subtle Digs, but we're going to be going over and just taking a look uh, at the set and um, yeah, giving you guys a preview of what's included. So first thing to note is it comes in uh, this really sturdy Cordura uh, case, which is uh, just feels really solid. It's about two inches thick uh, and about six by six on either side. Um, and let's just get straight into it and open it up here. Uh, you'll notice as we open it up, um, it's high density foam kind of holding some clear plastic locks in here along with keys and the lock picks are actually in this little pouch uh, at the top of the case here. Which is pretty easy to get out. Um, and before we open up the case and look at the pack picks, there's, there's a lot of talk online about what makes a good beginner lock pick set. Um, and some of the things I think include, you know, a variety of picks, of course, to, to play with and, and to test. Um, some clear plastic acrylic locks so that you can actually see what's happening while you're, while you're picking uh, a lock for the first time. And then a variety of different types of locks um, so that you can, um, you know, just be exposed to different devices and different types of locks that you may see uh, out in the wild. And so, um, Getting started with it, we have a basic uh, clear pad padlock. Um, it looks like a seven pin uh, standard padlock, which, which is, uh, believe it or not, fairly simple to open, and we'll go over that a little later in the video. Um, it also comes with a clear dimple practice cylinder lock. Actually, I take that back. I think this is the clear disc detainer lock, excuse me. Um, and this is actually quite tricky. I, I spent uh, a good solid 30, 45 minutes trying to pick this and I realized afterwards I probably wasn't using the right technique, uh, but this is, this is an interesting lock nonetheless. And then finally we have uh, the clear dimple practice cylinder lock, um, which is also seven pins and uh, fairly simple uh, to pick, although slightly different than the standard uh, clear plastic padlock. Um, so that's, that's what we've got in the case in, in terms of locks. Um, moving into the picks, it uh, comes with 12 picks, if I'm not mistaken, and three uh, tension bars. And so we'll open those up here and kind of get those out. Comes in a little plastic sleeve, dump those out. I got one more inside there, pull that out, there we go. And so looking at these, there's a variety of picks in here, uh, a couple different tension bars, and I'll just separate these out uh, as I need to, get all the tension bars together, and then we'll put all the picks together off to one side. And so we're gonna kind of go through here um, and look at each one of the picks and which ones are included here, and then talk about each one a little bit as well, uh, or at least as best as I can, since I am somewhat of a beginner myself. And so, um, looking at the, the hooks or the picks that we have here, uh, the first one, and it's a little difficult to see here, uh, the first one they have here looks like uh, a gem hook, and this is a pretty standard pick um, that's very popular with, with most lock pickers. Great for single pin picking, um, and this is, again, a gem hook, I believe. Um, if I get any of these wrong, just let me know in the comments below and we'll, we'll update the video. Uh, the next pick in the set looks like a short hook, uh, and you can tell it's a short hook by just the shape of it there, and it's got a fairly flat top on the on the end of it. Um, the next one, I think I was going to go over, actually is this one, which is somewhat unique looking, uh, and not something that you see quite often, but I believe it's called uh, a batarang. So this is a, some sort of batarang or a variant on the batarang, um, and... You know, it's sometimes referred to, I think, as also as an S-rake, but uh, kind of a unique looking pick there as well and not something you see very often. Um, the next thing that's pretty common in most sets is uh, a double Bogota or a Bogota variant. Uh, and that's basically uh, just a very popular pick that's used um, throughout the lock picking world. And then have a, a triple hump uh, Bogota variant. It's not a true Bogota, but it's, it's very similar to the Bogota. Um, and then we've got this other one that's fairly unique to the set. You don't see it quite often, and I think we're calling this the hockey stick. Uh, if you've got another name for it, let us know in the comments, but it kind of looks like a, like, a, like a small hockey stick, right? So you can imagine you can hit a puck with it. And then finally, 
I think this is sometimes referred to as the world's most useless uh, pick. It's the snowman. Uh, although I have to say I've used it uh, to open up that clear lock in under five seconds. And so I, I tend to like it, uh, but most professional lock pickers do not appreciate the snowman, even if I do. Um, the next one that we have here is the, the city rake, I believe. Uh, it's also referred to as a long rake sometime or a sawtooth. And this is great for um, uh, a technique known as raking. Um, and so, yeah, a lot of people will use that, but it's a couple different names, city rake, long rake, or sawtooth. And then finally, um, we have a, what's called a wedge rake. Um, and the wedge rake, um, you know, again, just a variant on the city rake, but I, I'm not 100% sure as to um, why you might use that. Probably not the most useful pick in the set, but definitely one that you can experiment with. And then last but not least, we have the two uh, small and medium half diamonds. And these are very popular, uh, again, for single pin picking. Uh, so you have a, a you know a small diamond, and then this is the medium diamond uh, as well. And then last but not least, uh, we have a key extractor. And again, this is if a key breaks off inside a lock, this is the pick that you would use to, to pull out those key pieces. And so those are the 12 lock picks that are in the set. Uh, fairly standard, but also a good variety. And it's one of the reasons I think this makes uh, such a, it makes this such a good beginner set is that there's a variety of picks in here for you to experiment with um, as well as a variety of locks uh, which just make it a great beginner set to get started with. Um, keys are obviously included in case you can't get into any of these. Um, you've got two tensioners in here, one that's a much thinner tensioner um, that, that works well for European locks and, and uh, locks with smaller keyways and then a standard um, kind of an S bar tension tensioner, which, which I tend to prefer. It's a little thicker uh, and I think works really well with, with the, the clear locks that are in here in terms of uh, tensioning the, the keyway. So let's see if I can use one of these and open the lock set that comes with it um, based on my limited experience. And typically on a beginner key set, you're just going to be placing the tensioner at the bottom of the keyway, not the top of the keyway, but the bottom here, putting a bit of tension on there and then using, um, I guess I'll, I'll start with just trying to use this double Bogota and just slide, sliding that in there and then pushing the pins up until I feel the keyway open. And that's as simple as it is. So a lot of people are intimidated by learning how to pick locks, but honestly with these beginner lock pick sets, uh, it makes it really easy. And again, um, um, gives you a visual reference as to what's actually happening when you're picking locks. So that's pretty much it. I'd say this set is probably best for true beginners. I don't think an intermediate lock picker or an advanced lock picking uh, or person that's in lock sport would appreciate that this that much. Um, but I do think it's a great set. And I almost forgot, there's actually two other items that are in this beginner lock pick set. One of them is this credit card size um, travel pick set, which is kind of fun. Um, these are always kind of cool to play with and and take around with you if, you, if you're traveling or, or going somewhere where you need to be discreet. Um, not that we condone any sort of lock picking that is against the law, but if you need a small set to carry with you, maybe you know keep one in your glove box, um, that's a great little set that you can take along. And then you've also got this basic uh, lock picking guide, which again has a lot of the information as to you know why you should learn lock picking, how a, how a tumbler lock works, how to pick a lock, how to scrub a lock, um, and just some, some great information in there. So that's also included. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the Subtle Digs uh, beginner lockpick set. I think it retails for about $59 uh, online at subtledigs.com. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, look forward to your feedback.